you showed up <laughs> prepared, wearing your uniform, looking like you're supposed to, yet everything in the building that they provide for you or should provide for you is either missing, broken, unavailable right now, it's coming, we don't know where it is, whatever. Have you ever worked at a place that was just a complete and utter shit show? Because I've, I've definitely had my share of shit show workplaces. I remember I would come in and I would be like, all right, here I am. I'm prepared to make money. There'd be no trays. The POS system didn't work. It would just like shut down halfway through or would lose internet connection and like eat our tips. Like we'd go at the end of the night to like input all of our tips and like the check was gone. Like the guest's check was no longer existent. So we couldn't input a tip because there was like, not only did we lose our tips, but the restaurant actually lost its money because there was no charge because the POS system was just literally that, a piece of shit system. And no one was fixing anything. No one cared. The managers weren't paid enough to care. And it was a trickle down effect, right? From corporate to the management, to us, the employees who had to show up and try to like work to the best of our ability without the 10 most important things necessary to do our jobs. Like it was infuriating. I remember being infuriated and not being able to really say how I felt because I was worried that I would get like, there would be consequences for speaking my mind. That I wasn't worth being able to have a voice about it. And I remember leaving that job and doing my exit interview and the manager, the HR specialist, she wasn't a manager, she was in the HR person for the company did my exit interview and I had all these things to say. Cause like, what did I have to lose at that point? I'm on my way out. Like, I'm gonna say everything there is to say. Why don't we have trays? Basic stuff. Why are there no martini glasses? We're running a bar. Um, there's no managers on at night. They're only on during the day when like no one needs a manager. But at night when we're slamming busy and need managers, there's like one somewhere in this gigantic building, in this labyrinth where the hell they are, no one knows. And we need a manager like now so we can continue working and taking care of other guests. So we need the manager now to get through this issue, yet they're nowhere. And so I explain all of these things to this HR person no concern. She didn't care. She didn't care what I had to say. She was just following her job protocol to do an exit interview with me before I left. She didn't care. So that's my experience with bars and restaurants is like people aren't paid enough to care what your opinion is and people aren't paid enough to like follow up on the problems that make it really difficult to just do your job. So in addition to like trying to hustle and trying to make money and kind of being treated like a punching bag, you don't even really have what you need to like get the job done right most of the time, which is frustrating and completely unfulfilling when you think about it. There are so many other ways to make money on your terms where you can control your reality. And I'm gonna show you how that's possible.